Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to find the interval of convergence for this power series by using the ratio test. So let's go ahead and indicate that this right here is our a n, and then we'll be using the ratio test. So let's write that down by the ratio test. And you know the first thing that we do is to take limit, right? So we write down as n goes to infinity. And of course, you put down the absolute value, and you have to check a n plus 1 times 1 over a n. And this is just the usual business. Okay, for a n plus 1, plugging n plus 1 into all the n's, we will have the absolute value. On the top, we have 3. And then this is x minus 2. This n becomes n plus 1, right? And then this is over n plus 1 to the third power now, right? Like this. And we multiply by the reciprocal of that. This will go on the top, which is n to the third power, over this and that will go on to the denominator. So we will have 3 times x minus 2 to the nth power, like that. OK, simplify this and simplify that, right? This right here is just x minus 2 to the n times x minus 2 to the first power. And you know that this and that can be canceled. And likewise, this 3 and that 3 can be canceled. And I think I'm just going to leave this as how it is for now. Let's see what we have from here, right? So after we have done this algebra, we will first have the absolute value. And on the top, we have the n to the third power here over n plus 1 to the third power, right? n plus 1 to the third power like that. And then we multiply by x minus 2 on the side like this. Remember, you should always put on the n's first and then the factor with the x at the end like that. OK, now what do we do? Depends on how you want to do the limit. Because both of them are with the third power, you can write this as n over n plus 1, and then raise to a third power, and then take the limit from there. Or you can just look at this as n plus 1 to a third power. Let me tell you what the answer is. Multiply it out. You get n to the third power plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. After you multiply it out, right? But it doesn't really matter because when you're taking a limit, on the top, you just care about n to the third power. On the bottom, you also care about just n to the third power. <laughs> anyway, you just take the limit, you get 1, isn't it? So this first term is going to approach to 1, and we multiply by the absolute value of x minus 2, like that. And as usual, you are going to set this to be less than 1. And in our case, well, we just get absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 1, right? So with this being done, you know the radius of convergence is 1. And in this case, we have x minus 2. So you know the center is at positive 2, right? OK, so I can draw you guys the number line. Center is at 2. That says right here. So. 1, so we move to the left one time, which is 1, and then just move to the right one time, which is going to give us 3. But I don't know what will happen at the end point, so let me just push down that. Hopefully, you guys have been watching the videos, right? So that way, you know, all these are pretty much the same thing over and over. <laughs> and what's next? You should tell me we have to check the end points. And let's do that. So right here, check when x is equal to 1. Plugging 1 into here to see what's up with that, right? We will have the series when n goes from 0. In this case, it's n goes from 1. Because the denominator here is n to the third power, n cannot be 0. n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we will have the 3 times 3 over, I mean 3 over n to the third power. x is 1, and then minus 2, and then to the nth power, like that, right? OK, this is infinity we have sigma and n is equal to 1. Here we have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1 in the parentheses to the nth power. And this is just 3, right? And then I think I'm just going to write it down like this. Put on this term first, negative 1 to the nth power. This term is negative 1 to the nth power, right? And let me put on this on the side, 3 over n to the third power. And the reason that I did this right here is because this is alternating, and you see this right here will be the part that we need to consider, right? So we have to do the alternating series test. 
and I will put that down right here in black. Take this as my BN, and we are going to do the check right here real quick, right? First of all, we are going to check that does BN, this is my first check, does BN go to zero as n goes to infinity? Well, BN is 3, to the, 3 over n to the third power, does this go to zero? Yes, it does, right? Because if n is infinity, we have 3 over infinity to a third power, of course, that goes to zero, so it checks. And the second thing that we check is, well, is this a decreasing function? Decreasing sequence, I mean. So we have to check bn plus 1, is this less than or equal to bn? Okay, plugging n plus 1 into here, we have 3 over n plus 1 to the third power. Is this less than or equal to the original 3 over n to the third power? Well, you can do a few things. You can cancel out the 3, and you can cross multiply, but this is also clear, right? I believe this also checks because once you cancel out the 3, the denominator here is bigger than here, so this is smaller than that, for sure. Anyway, just pretty much do the two check, right? Both of them checks. Both of them works. That means this right here converges by the alternating series test. So I will tell you this right here converges at x equals to 1 by the alternating series test, all right? So I come here, I put down a bracket at 1. And now do the same thing right here. We check when x is equal to 3. Plugging 3 into here and then do the work from there, right? Okay, so series when n goes from 1 to infinity, 3 over n to the third power, and then we will have 3 minus 2 to the nth power. And what do we get from here? This is just going to be sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. This is 3 over n to the third power. But 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 to the nth power is always going to be 1, right? So you can just ignore this if you would like. But it's technically 1 to the nth power. This is the same as series when n goes from 1 to infinity. 3 over n to the third power. And does this converge or not? Well, 3 is just a constant multiple on the top. You can take it into the front if you would like. But more importantly, this is pretty much we have n to a power on the bottom. And you see that this power p is 3. And you have to know that as long as this p is bigger than 1, this right here converges, right? So I will tell you, it converges at x is equal to 3. By, well, it converges because we have the p-series test. Okay, because this is a p-series pretty much, right? So I will come here and I will tell you we are going to take 3 as well. Okay, so finally I will tell you guys that the radius of convergence is 1. And the interval convergence is one, 1 to 3. And we include the 1, and we also include the 3. And this right here is it.